security uh, and one for events so in the summer they organize glamping campings very nice but yeah well because of covid they were all cancelled that he should have gone to the formula A. he should have gone to the song test contest la vuelta la vuelta uh, all, all the canceled. big uh, sport events and there we built uh, camping sites for, so that's what we do. Yeah. But now I built an atelier for Ashi. Yeah. And <laughs> I built a tiny yeah. house yeah, in the actually, garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the beach house. And actually, we are making. Uh, it's already there. That's the dry. We call it the dry room, not the dark room, but the dry room. So uh, we will break everything open when it's finished, and then we have. Uh, a space where we uh, wash the yarns and behind that will be the space where we dry the yarns and especially in the winter that's very handy it comes in very handy yeah? mm -hmm. that yeah, I probably put in a, a heat buster so a new yarn is dry that's that's the only problem why it sometimes it takes longer that doesn't dry that fast uh, yeah, I, right? have to I have to isolate the room extra Mm. So it's when, the, when you put the heater on, it stays warm for a very long time. That's uh, just yeah. like you have in your freezer, or in otherwise around. Yeah. The freezer blijft het koud. The oh, freezer yeah. stays is cold. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and the other one stays heat. Okay. Good so Ashy. Oh, nee, after it. <laughs> Ashy. He calls me Ashy now. That's something else. Okay. It's not my name. Okay, sorry. Ah. Probably. Oh, yeah. In Dutch is Assi. Americans say A for an A, but then it will be Assi. 
That's funny, when we were in uh, Omar in the Middle East, my youngest son is called Freek in Dutch, Freek. But the uh, first time that they saw him, they called him Freek. <laughs> Oh, and then when, when, uh, you recognize it when you try to say freak. You try to say freak. It's it's Americans can't do that. They say freak. We need freak in Dutch. We have the yeah, so. yeah, but poor thing. But it lasted only a few weeks, and then it was freak, freak. Okay. It's but I have to leave you because I have oh. also to go to the post yeah, with your uh, bags for, with all yeah. the sendings. So shipping, I yeah. have uh, all yeah. the shipping, so I have to go. So, Advent. I'll open number two and three now because I was yesterday. I forgot about it. Now this is number two. So I'm gonna open the advent. Number two and three now. Number two, and number two is called, you can see that on top of the box, Let's Be Jolly. Let's Be Jolly. Ooh, here we're getting into a fade. Look at this. Next to number one. Because I've put it in a straight fade. Number three is called Old Fashioned Way. Look at this. And then all three of them together. Yeah, there we go. In this nice fade. I'm planning to do a blanket with it. I might as well just open this little ornament from Little Bitty Delights. And it's an eggnog cocktail. And I've put down a recipe too in the boxes. Isn't it nice? A little Oreo inside. So, till tomorrow. So, for the third time, I'm going to warp the loom. I mean, it's the first time that I'm weaving. <laughs> it needs to be a blanket for Christmas, so I thought I might as well do it in chunky yarn. Don't eat the yarn, Mouse. So this is going to be a blanket. I'm not sure if this is the greatest hobby for me. I still didn't get the hang out of it, but I love the loom, that's for sure. But when I put it in my room, inside the house, and I don't have space, I'm kicking everyone or hit the television, so that's not so nice. Okay, so I'm happily warping. I keep you posted. So, now I have to thread every 
thread into the little weaving part in here. Then you have an upper and a lower deck of warps. This is part two. And because I have nice and chunky yarn, it goes rather quick. Oh. Cut this one. It's not cut yet. So. so this is my third try. I had a beautiful warp last week, but the yarn was not good. It was too stretchy and, well, maybe somebody else can weave with it, but I'm just a beginner and I couldn't. So and it was very frustrating and it took me a very long time. So I just start with chunky things. I have beautiful yarn that I bought from someone. I want to make pillows, nice and fluffy. So, see this head, oh, this one needs to be cut. And I think I just bought a loom a little bit too big, but, okay. So it's on a stand, this one, but I can also put it uh, on the table, but I think this one is a little bit too big for that. 